Terrence Bud Crawford talks about leaving a legacy in boxing that has never been left before. That is very interesting. That's what he said at his uh, press conference to his up and coming fight. Terrence Bud Crawford also put out somewhat of a cryptic tweet, but those of us that know, we can read it very clear. And that means that Terrence Bud Crawford plans on cleaning out another division, which means he's planning on being a three-time undisputed champion. And this fight that he has coming up just brings him one step closer. If Jamel Charlo plans on still being the man at 154, then a head-on collision with Terrence Bud Crawford is inevitable. If you ask me, he's just applying the same kind of pressure that he did to Earl Spence to press a fight with him. And I think he's going to do the same thing with Jamel Charlo. He's definitely going to press that fight because he has his eyes set on that division. And, you know, he basically puts out what he wants to do. So if he wants to leave a legacy that nobody has ever left before, then you guarantee that they're eyeing a Jamel Charlo. And speaking of legacy, look at all the fighters that speak of legacy. You know what I'm saying? You ever noticed that all the fighters that speak of legacy? It's actually a very small pool. You got people like Anthony Joshua. You got people like uh, Devin Haney. You got people like Terrence Crawford. You got people like Uzik, Anui, and all that. Now, what is the common denominator between all those guys? Notice the guys that talk about legacy are much further along in their careers and as far as ambition and goals than every other fighter around them. You know, so it just goes to show that I understand that people are chasing money, but if you chase the legacy, at, at the same time, it can't secure the funds. This is why Anthony Joshua was where he was. Well, where he's at right now, because truth be told, Anthony Joshua doesn't have to take all the challenges and hard fights that he does. He could just milk his name and his popularity. He doesn't do that. You know what I'm saying? Neither does Devin Haney. He doesn't do that. He doesn't try to hide behind, oh, I'm undisputed now. People got to chase me. Let me take all these soft fights. He doesn't do that. You know what I'm saying? Anui, he doesn't do that. Uzi, he doesn't do that either. And these are all legacy fighters. So what do you notice about the legacy fighters? It seems to be that the legacy fighters are the one to speak about legacy are always the one that's trying to get you to fights that the fight fans want to see the most. That's something, that's a connection that I made between guys that talk about legacy and guys that just talk about boxing, fighting, and money and stuff like that. You could tell the fighters that's about the money because they're nowhere near the guys that speak about legacy. You know, this is why Haney and all them is so far ahead as far as accomplishments and what they have done in the sports and having names on their resumes and stuff like that. So it just goes to show you that the fighters that speak about legacy is actually the fighters is actually trying to deliver boxing as it's supposed to be versus the guys who's check chasing and all this other stuff and I'm too big and you're not big enough and it doesn't sell and blase spree and blase, you know, all that other stuff, you know? But then again, the other thing that I've noticed about legacy fighters versus the guys who just talk about making some money, the reason why those guys can afford to talk about legacy and why it's so important to them Notice the guys that talk about legacies are a guy who has real, true, blue talent, you know, which is why the most talented and the most accomplished fighters in boxing are also the most hated, you know, and the most talked about as if they're not doing all the things that your favorite fighter is not. And this is what's asked backwards about boxing at the end of the day. This is what's backwards about it. The legacy fighters are the one that's trying to give us the fights that we want to see, that has been moving and shaking like we want them to move. But at the same time, they are the ones that's most ridiculed. But yet you have boxing fans that complain about the state of boxing, not knowing if they are the helping hand contributing into this freak show that they complain about that's called boxing. And then you have guys like Terrence Crawford and Anthony Joshua who tries to make the big fights but the whole world ignores all the effort and everything that they put in you know what I'm saying to get these things done and, and to be perceived and looked at as a great fighter we down those guys this is where the sport of boxing is ass backwards it's money first theatrics second skill 
and rankings and who deserves what comes last. And this is why the sport is ass backwards. That's why we got YouTubers. That's why we got freak shows. That's why we asking our old retired fighters to come out and fight each other. It just goes to show that there should be no room for no old fighter like Vander Holyfield to come out and have an audience. Not that they're not popular. Not that we don't want to see them fight. Okay? We're supposed to have such a lineup of talent that is supposed to be overflowing that we don't look for the fighters of yesteryears and the ones that's retired to put on entertainment and, and to entertain us and to give us fights. That's what the new generation should be doing. But the fact that the old generation can still peek in and make some money and not only that, uh, probably have a you know better ticket sales or, or better viewership than the current new crop of fighters just goes to show you that these guys is nowhere near the fighters of yesteryears. And if they was, they could command the same thing, but they don't have the same ambition and they don't have the same love for chasing legacy like they're supposed to, which is why we have a small pool of fighters that's actually about that life. The same small pool of fighters that actually get hated on and discredit the most. This is the main theme on my channel, and that's why I try to take the guys who actually do things and I try to prop them up. Whether I'm a fan of them or not, whether I like their style or not, it doesn't matter. All that matters is the mentality at the end of the day. That's what we want to be contagious. We don't want, oh, you across the street stuff to be contagious because you see where that got us. It, it damn near cost us a legendary fight. But that's the difference between these regular guys and people like Crawford. So I look forward to it. Tell me what you think. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm out.